Hello, welcome to Packet Smart's Quick Reviews. In this session, we're going to go ahead and show you how to look at live calls to look at the call signaling along with the call stream matrix and the call route analysis on incoming and outgoing calls. Just by going to the SME or the domain here, double clicking, grabbing the device that you're interested in, the date you want to look at for those calls, go ahead and select the call matrix, show calls. You then can proceed to see which ones are completed by checking this box. This is an incoming call right here. By clicking on this call, you can look at the signaling on this call from an incoming perspective and will provide you all the information on this call. This is a SIP ladder tree. You can actually click on any one of these and get a SIP dump. That will provide you information specifically to the SIP, and for, uh, the SIP headers, primarily where the RTP will be writing on from an IP perspective, what port it's on, and what was the codec that's selected. More importantly, you have the ability of also looking at the call quality, which is the call stream matrix. You can look at the packets per second on this incoming call. As this pulls up, we'll show this in two streams. Red and blue represent a direction. If you need to look at the direction of this on this particular stream, all you need to do is highlight the stream by either opening a rectangular box like this on the stream, or if you like, you can actually hit the right key button and open up and do a zoom in, a zoom out, or an auto range. But once you've opened this up, you can go ahead and click on one of these colored streams, scroll down to show stream information, and it provides you the IP address of where that stream is headed, the port it's on, the codec that's there, and whether we've detected QoS on that stream. In this example, the blue stream is the incoming stream. There is no QoS. Click on the red stream here, show stream here. You'll notice it's a different IP address going as an outbound path to a different port, same codec, and there is QoS. Also, if you look at the call route analysis, you can take a look specifically at the hops <clears throat> on this particular call. It's an incoming call, so we can actually go in here and see that we've got different hops here going in. There's no route flaps, and we can look at any one of the latencies for the maximum here and actually get an indication of when that latency is occurring. If you want to, here's another example of an outbound call. Call signaling is a little bit more information here on the originating caller. Whereas when you click on the invite here, you'll actually get the information specific to the user type of phone, user agent, and the firmware that's loaded on that phone. You need to go to the call matrix. You can go to the packets per second. And you actually get the variation in here, right this. Open this up. Click on the stream here. And you can actually provide the same information. This is the direction of that stream. That QoS is actually, you'll notice in the previous one, red was the outgoing. In this case, it's the incoming. Whereas now the blue has got the on QoS in a different port. We can also look at the route analysis on this call. And you'll see it's a different direction here. And here we have the same amount of hops. And we can click on any one of these to get the actual information specific to that particular call. You also have the ability of filtering on a specific individual if you want to. You can filter on and just see all the calls there that are going to Don. Or if you wanted to, you could see all the calls to Babu. And you click here, and that would be the only call. And that's how quickly you can go through and look at individual calls within the actual uh, call matrix tab here and find out what's happening on these calls in real time. Thank you for your time.